This probably is one of the most fascinating chapters. The chapter eight is about how God responds to our prayers, okay? And so if you look at chapter eight, the key of it is in verse three, or verse four. But I'll start in verse three. Then another angel having a golden censer, this is Revelation 8, three, came and stood at the altar. Now wait a minute, censer, altar. Now look at the next word, incense. And then it says, uh, which he should offer with prayers of all the saints on the golden altar before the throne. What does that sound like? Incense, censer, golden altar. What, what does that sound like? The tabernacle and the temple. See, in heaven, Moses was taken up on the mountain and he saw a temple in heaven that he made drawings of and got plans for and came down and created a copy of it, which was the tabernacle. It says in Hebrews, which was patterned after what's in heaven. Here's what's in heaven. God has this temple going on up there. Now, at the end of Revelation, there's no more temple. It says in chapter 21, there's no more temple. Why? Because the temple only is having to do with redemption and the judgments. And so what happens is, uh, verse four, and the smoke of the incense with the prayers of the saints ascended before God. Here's the short of it. What does God do with our prayers? The answer from Revelation chapter five, verse eight, and chapter eight, verse three and four, is God collects every one of them. Every time I pray, every time you pray, they go right into this bowl that's right in front of the throne of God. And God answers every prayer, either yes, no, or wait. But all the ones that are yes and wait, he's going to fulfill. And right now what you see in chapter eight is, God is fulfilling the prayers of the saints of all the ages. What's going on? Verses one and two, God waits. It's time to repent. Uh, in verses three through five, God listens. He's collecting those prayers. It's time to pray. Do you remember the whole book of Revelation was written for us to know what God's doing so that we can get in sync? Right now, God is listening. He wants us to be praying for him to take the gospel through us to the ends of the earth, for him to judge all wrongs and to right all wrongs. He's wanting us to pray. But then God responds to those prayers starting in chapter eight, verse six, and it's time to flee. Uh, God waits, it's time to repent. This whole chapter is about how patient God is. God could have done the whole tribulation on one day. He could have gone boom, 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 just killed them all. Boom, 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 boom. Melted them all. He can do that, you know. In chapter, 20, or chapter 19, Christ speaks and everybody at Armageddon dies just by him saying a word. In chapter 20, the whole world marches on Jerusalem and it says fire comes out from God and totally kills all of them. But God is patient. That's why it takes seven years. 